Armed forces of Russia and Belarus can open a second front from Belarus, Ukrainian deputy warns. Member of the Ukrainian parliament Yevgeny Shevchenko expressed fears that the armed forces of the Russian Federation and the Republic of Belarus could open a second front from Belarus. The Ukrainian parliamentarians' fears are based on the fact that together with Russian leader Vladimir Putin, the heads of the Russian Ministry of Defense and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation flew to meet with President of Belarus Alexander Lukashenko. Shevchenko, who flew to Minsk in the spring of 2021 in an attempt to improve Ukrainian-Belarusian relations that had noticeably cooled by that time, noted that he did not want to escalate the already tense situation, but did not rule out the start of a new stage of the armed conflict due to the opening of a second front on the part of Belarus. Ukrainian sources, in turn, suggest that rumors about the possible entry of Minsk into the Ukrainian crisis or the provision of Belarusian territory for the offensive of the Russian armed forces in the northern regions of Ukraine are a consequence of an information special operation carried out by the Kremlin, the purpose of which is to force Kyiv to keep on the border with Belarus is a large military group. Currently, there are no signs of preparing a strike force for the hypothetical opening of the Belarusian front. However, despite this, Kyiv fears that, given the current state of the Ukrainian army, such a step could cause near-critical consequences for the Ukrainian armed forces. Meanwhile, a number of Ukrainian telegram channels suggest that a trilateral meeting is taking place in Minsk between the leaders of Russia, Belarus and Ukraine, at which Viktor Yanukovych is taking part as the Ukrainian president. In this case, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that Russia does not recognize Zelensky as the president of Ukraine. His term of office ended on May the 20th. The Russian leader, in a conversation with reporters following a meeting with Alexander Lukashenko, answering a question about possible Russian-Ukrainian negotiations, said that Moscow proceeds from the fact that Zelensky's legitimacy has ended and he is no longer the head of state. According to Putin, this issue is not idle, since negotiations will need to be held with someone. Russia proceeds from the fact that the legitimacy of Vladimir Zelensky is over. The question of who to negotiate with in Ukraine is not an idle one, said the Russian president, adding that it is necessary to look at the constitution of Ukraine to determine the powers of which government bodies can be extended in such a situation. What is happening in the Russian army? Generals, army commanders are fired, arrested. The commander of the 20th Combined Arms Army of the Russian Arms Forces, Lieutenant General Sukrab Akhmedov, was removed from his post. The chairman of the We Are Together With Russia movement, Vladimir Rogov, announced in his Telegram channel. Military bloggers also provide similar information. So far, Sukrab Soltanovich has just been released, but informed sources report that the situation is developing, Rogov wrote. He calls the information about Akhmedov's removal from office good news and the implementation of the words of the new Minister of Defense, Andriy Belusov, about the need to take care of our soldiers. Currently, the 20th Separate Motor Rifle Brigade is focused on offensive operations on the Lyman Front and was unable to achieve significant tactical success in this area during the offensive on the Kharkiv-Luhansk front in the winter and spring of 2024. Official statements from the Kremlin and speculation by bloggers about arrests and changes in command indicate that more senior officers of the Russian Federation may be at risk of dismissal. The Kremlin is purposefully removing senior officials from the Russian Defense Ministry and has already extended this effort to dismiss high-ranking officers in charge of Russian combat operations in Ukraine. The Kremlin is likely to use the guise of corruption charges as an excuse to hide the real reasons for ousting special individuals from the Ministry of Defense who have fallen from favor as ISW has recently assessed Institute for the Study of War said. On the 23rd of May, the Investigative Committee of Russia announced that Lieutenant General Vadim Shamarin, Deputy Chief of the General Staff and the Head of the Main Communications Directorate of the Russian Armed Forces, and Vladimir Verteletsky, Head of the Department of Public Procurement of the Russian Defense Ministry, had been arrested. Shamarin is accused of receiving a bribe 
of at least 36 million rubles or about 392,000 US dollars and two people involved in the case from the Russian telecommunications industry have agreed to testify against him. Vertelecki is accused of corruption and receiving a large bribe, which resulted in a total loss of 70 million rubles or 763,000 US dollars. Five senior Russian Defense Ministry officials and former military commanders were arrested on corruption charges following the arrest of Russian Deputy Defense Minister Timur Ivanov that occurred on the 24th of April. A Russian insider source previously claimed that six more Defensive Ministry officials are planning to resign after former Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu was removed from his post.